The first cut is the deepest. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. Today I'm going to be making the first cut on my new spindle here. This job has really got away on me. I originally planned to simply install the variable frequency drive, manually stop and start it, and also manually set the speed. Now it turns out I've got it connected up to my PC and the PC is stopping and starting this as well as setting the speed. I've only got it working in UCCNC at present but am now working on the Mac 3 setup. I've got something slightly wrong which I'll get to the bottom of without too much difficulty. Now not only have I ended up using the variable frequency drive different to how I planned, I've also ended up completely building a new box to put it in and I've moved my Gecko drive into that as well as the UC300 Ethernet controller. I now need to make a cupboard door for it and I need to insert some hinges into that door. To do that I need a 35mm pocket. So that's going to be my first job for the spindle. Cutting the two pocket holes to set the hinges. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Well, I don't know if we're ready for this, but let's go. Cycle start. Cycle start. Now, I haven't been able to add the dust collection to this, unfortunately, because my dust shoe no longer fits onto the spindle. That's something I'm going to have to sort out at a future date. Now there's something truly unnatural about this. I'm not used to this starting and stopping on its own. You'll also notice even though the, it's, this is an air-cooled spindle, it's not blowing the wood chips and sawdust all around the workplace. There's not that large amount of air coming through the spindle. But obviously there's enough to keep it cool. There we have it, the cupboard door is now installed. And it keeps things quiet when it's closed. Well, I'm really pleased with those results. Not only do I now have a working spindle, but I have a door for my enclosure. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Check out my website, www.cncnuts.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.